the state of our world? The effect of our actions? The future of our planet? The world is full of uncertainty when we can't see what's hidden. Synspective helps you see in both day and night, through cloud and rain, With Synspective, you can see whenever, wherever. We turn the world into the information you want and need by making things visible. With Synspective, you can see the future. When you see things clearly, you can see the way forward. You can see the risks and avoid them. What I want to do is upgrade our vision to change the world together. With a new outlook, we can see ahead and reinvent our future. Synthetic data for perspective. Synspective. What do you see? The state of our world? The effect of our actions? The future of our planet? The world is full of uncertainty when we can't see what's hidden. Synspective helps you see in both day and night, through cloud and rain, With Synspective, you can see whenever, wherever. We turn the world into the information you want and need by making things visible. With Synspective, you can see the future. When you see things clearly, you can see the way forward. You can see the risks and avoid them. What I want to do is upgrade our vision to change the world together. With a new outlook, we can see ahead and reinvent our future. Synthetic data for perspective. Synspective.
What do you see? The state of our world? The effect of our actions? The future of our planet? The world is full of uncertainty when we can't see what's hidden. Synspective helps you see. In both day and night. Through cloud and rain. With Synspective, you can see whenever, wherever. We turn the world into the information you want and need by making things visible. With Synspective, you can see the future. When you see things clearly, you can see the way forward. You can see the risks and avoid them. What I want to do is upgrade our vision to change the world together. With a new outlook, we can see ahead and reinvent our future. Synthetic data for perspective. Synspective. Hello everyone, welcome to the Singapore Geospatial Week Plus 2020, an event organized by JoWorks, Singapore's Land Authority Geospatial Industry Centre. Today we're excited to introduce Shuri Kumura from Synspective to share on how to utilize space technology for property and land management. If you have any questions during the webinar, please leave them in the Q&A chat box and we will answer them at the end of the webinar. So without further ado, I'll leave you now with Shuri. Shuri, please. Hey, thank you, Vishen. Uh, hi there, welcome to the session, how to utilize space technology for property and land management. I am Shori, a customer solutions engineer of Synspective, in charge of sales and proposal activities. I am joining from Japan. Konnichiwa. Uh, we are developing small satellites and we build the constellation to provide frequently updated data and user-friendly information for customers as a one-stop geosolution provider. Today, I will be talking about one of our satellite solutions for land displacement assessment, especially for government, urban planners, uh, developers, construction companies, railway companies, and power companies. So let me start my presentation. Reason. Can you see the screen? Yes, I can see. Okay. So firstly, let me introduce about our company and what we do. And then I will be talking about our subduction service of land displacement monitoring by satellite data and its benefits. After the presentation, we will have a QA session. So again, if you have any questions, yeah, please type the questions in the question box.
Sispective uh, is a Japanese startup company established, to, established in 2018 to install an advanced radar satellite technology into society. Uh, our core technology was developed by national R&D program named IMPACT. Uh, we propose useful solutions based on satellite capability and feasibility to meet your clients and needs. Inside from satellite data, we contribute to resilient and stable operation by reducing the uncertainty and help customer decision making. Uh, now we have 80 people. Our head office is in Tokyo and we have a regional office in Singapore. And our CEO will be participating in the next panel discussion after this starting 2 p.m. in Singapore time. So please join the session and ask many questions to him. Yeah, check it out. And here is the overview of our own satellite streaks. The innovative point our of streaks is it is 10 times smaller compared to existing big satellites and it costs uh, one twentieth because of the weight. By saving cost of each satellite, we can deploy many satellites in orbit. And video constellation. Our constellation will achieve three things: uh, reliable observation and wide area coverage and high frequency. Trix has star sensor and it enables to observe the ground over 1,000 kilometers square at once in any weather at day and night. Daily monitoring will be available uh, to visit usually. At this point, it takes about two weeks to revisit by using existing star satellites but we will achieve daily monitoring. And high observation frequency means uh, we will be able to provide more constant and regular monitoring service. So before talking about our service, you may not be familiar with SERP. So let me briefly explain about the characteristics for better understanding, understanding of our service. Uh, CERT stands for Synthetic Aperture Radar. That's a technology to synthesize the aperture of the radar antenna by transmitting uh, and receiving radio waves. It's a little bit different from optical sensor. Uh, as you can see, it looks different. So antenna actively transmit the microwave and receive the signal back scattering from the ground. That's why SIR is independent from clouds, uh, but with yeah, from clouds, but weather and sunlight. This observation capability is useful to provide yeah, the data monitoring service. Uh, third, data consists of amplitude and phase information of the wave. And this information is used for our land displacement monitoring. Did you get it? So this slide shows what we do. We provide one-stop solution from data acquisition to service delivery to customers. Data acquisition by our own satellite enables to yeah, provide stable data provision without ordering conflicts and unexpected cancellations. Uh, after the observation, the data is automatically analyzed and uploaded on the platform online available, and customers can directly access to the website to check updates. 
The information is basically provided by subscription service. So users don't need to analyze their data, even they don't know well about supply data or their data. Uh, it's easier and faster to process the data and deliver the information to customers by showing the lead time to purchase data from other satellite operators. We extract information from SAR data and convert to user-friendly information for customers. Yeah, so even you don't know well, yeah, you can understand the information what SAR data shows. And our solutions are developed through demonstration projects and improve with customers' feedback. The product delivery depends on customers' requirements. And you can choose a customized or standard solution, whichever fits to your issues. Then displacement monitoring service was also developed through product market fit process, and it is now provided on the platform as a standard solution. So far, I introduced about our business and hardware capabilities. Now, I will be talking about our data solution. Uh, I'm going to focus on one of our then, land displacement monitoring. In the next session, what we provide and how we deliver to customers will be mentioned. As you may know, RAM displacement is one of the common geological hazards and sometimes caused by human activities such as massive infrastructure construction. Just monitoring of the settlement is crucial in order to prevent the damages and loss of land property. To check the land stability, constant ground survey with equipment and manpower is required. It takes costs and time to figure out a full view. So analysis uh, technology enables to detect relative changes in a large area in millimeter unit. So it offers cost efficiency and time efficiency. You can save time and cost to understand the whole understand yeah whole situation in your target areas by screening with uh, satellite data. So analysis shows that distribution of the land displacement at the grass in a large area, anywhere in the world. And you can see where to take a closer look and focus on. By saving cost and time, yeah, more frequent inspection once, uh, yeah, once, yeah, a month, once half, yeah, half yearly, like that. And the results are delivered sooner because of its observation capability. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, they can observe their yeah, large area at once. So it will contribute to early detection and prevention of the damages. We are expecting this will be useful for, yeah, especially government, urban planners, developers, power companies, railway companies, and construction companies to assess their activities. In our service, the differences are extracted from time series images and display on dashboard and map view in the platform. Uh, land displacement monitoring is available by subscription service, depending on your target areas. And the latest information is automatically uploaded online. Yeah, in our website. So you can access to the platform with ID and password, as you can see in the yeah in this slide. And on the website, 
uh, yeah, the statics of all AOIs is summarized on dashboard page. And you can move to map view of each AOI by clicking. On map view, the distribution of land displacement is displayed in curves and each dot has time series displacement information with time stamps. And data, yeah, data export and download functions are also available. On the on the dashboard page, yeah, land displacement rate is classified into three categories: critical, observed, and safe, shown in red, yellow, and green. Red shows the rapid displacement is detected during the monitoring period, and it may cause possible damages to land and buildings. So you can see the situation at once and focus on the particular area. You may survey on the ground for future details. And this information is regularly updated and addiction will prevent the loss. Here are the functions on dashboard page. Uh, never mind, yeah, no worries. Uh, you don't need to, yeah, understand the everything today. Yeah, user manual, how to use the platform is provided after the contract and our support team will keep in touch with you. The threshold of displacement rate, yeah, classes can be adjusted as per your request. And on map page, you can see what part is changing with the class. A new satellite observation is regularly conducted in target areas to detect changes and to issue an alert on possible damages on land and buildings. Satellite data is automatically processed and the extracted information like this is provided in this page. Here are the functions on map page. Same as dashboard page, user manual, how to understand and use the tools is provided after the contract and our support team will help you to understand. So you can yeah, export the results in PDF and shapefile format and data can be overlaid on your environment on your GIS software or your platform. Um, at this point, I want to show the movie, but never mind. Yeah, I will show later. Okay. So this is the specifications at this point. Our constellation has not been established yeah, at this point. So we are using Sentinel-1 data by Ether to provide land displacement monitoring service. Our third data is archived from 2014 and interferometry cell analysis, yeah, for land displacement monitoring is mostly applicable starting 2017. So we can go back to the data and check the land stability as much as data is available. So yeah, Sentinel-1 is now in operation and the information is mostly, yeah, monthly updated in the default case of our service. Users are yeah, charged according to the area of interest. So if you have any specific areas, yeah, please let us know. So let's move on to the last section. I'm going to talk about how our solution is cost effective compared to other sensors and services. And after this session, 
I want to answer the questions. Uh, yeah, from you. Hey. So, as you can see, each sensor has advantages and disadvantages. This slide shows observation capabilities of each sensor. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, our small satellite constellation will achieve reliable observation. And yeah, large area, coverage area, and frequency, higher frequency. On the other hand, there is the trade-off between data range and the resolution between data frequency and cost. So integrating with other sensors is important to understand and utilize its advantage. So satellite is useful to uh, yeah, fastly identify changes in a large area. And details can be observed with other tools to complement each other. Since, since perspective third, yeah, solution will contribute to saving cost and time at regular monitoring to prevent damages and loss. And you can enhance your business yeah, with yeah, operation reliability. And this slide shows the levels of each sensor. Uh, six items are relatively scored. Hopefully you can read the contents. Uh, in general, yeah, satellites can observe the ground cost effectively and other sensors like aircraft, drone, ground survey tools can ensure the higher accuracy and resolution. Uh, however, the main weakness of ground survey and optical sensor is yeah, being affected by weather conditions. In addition to third general observation capability, our satellite constellation can improve time resolution and data frequency by deploying many satellites in orbit. So the point is uh, what you prioritize to use first for your stable operation. Today, I wanted to introduce you our detection brand displacement with our solution can reduce the damages and loss, yeah, possible damages and loss of land and buildings. It will contribute to reducing the uncertainty in your business due to the unexpected occurrence and enhance the business reliability. So, Thank you for your attention. Let's move on to QA session. Hello, thanks everyone for your questions. So, Shiori, I'll be helping you to read the questions and you can answer them. So, we have a first question from Tom that says, how many stats have you launched and what is the revisit? Yes, our first satellite is to be launched this year. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, during, during this year. Yeah, and official release, yeah, is to be, yeah, published. <laughs> and we have another question. Uh, would ETSA be able to penetrate tree cover so we can detect drain and lampposts under the tree? Yeah, good question. It depends on, yeah, sir sensors. Sir has mainly three bands, there are three kinds, X-band, C-band, and L-band. It has different wavelengths, and shorter wavelengths cannot penetrate tree, tree coverage, but longer wavelengths, it may yeah, penetrate and observe the ground. So as per your yeah, needs, we can propose a yeah, proper solution and satellite data. So if you have any specific issues, yeah, please feel free to contact us. 
I will show the details. And we have another question from Evert. Hi, Shori. Thank you for your presentation. Hi, <laughs> Thank thought, you for joining. I, <laughs> I thought I heard you say that you only process Sentinel data. Can you please confirm this or are you able to prote uh, process, say, Terrasa X data? Yes, thank you for your question. At this point, we provide by using Sentinel-1 mainly, but we can process any third data, any commercial third data, Terrasa X with X band, Sentinel-1 with C band, L2 with L band. Yeah, depending on the situation, we will use different third data. Yeah, Sentinel-1 is provided free of charge, so usually I use that, but after our consolation is established, we will switch to our yeah, third data, or we will use both, depending on the case. At um, this point, yeah, Sentinel-1. <laughs> yeah. And I think Sean is asking how they can contact you for more info. Uh, perhaps, Shori, you can leave your email in the chat box uh, so that if they have any questions, they can ask or they can refer to the slide. Yep. And another question is, what satellite data is currently used for DINSA measurements? What, will the entire image be delivered to the customer? So again, yeah, at this point, we are mainly using Central One for yeah, provide affordable service, but we can use other commercial data depending on the purpose. Yeah, we can process the insert with Terrasar X, L2, so yeah. And we have another question also on DINSA is asking about, uh, is the DINSA algorithm developed internally by Synspective? Or are you able to measure both vertical and horizontal displacements? Uh, and also, if there's any challenges faced when using small satellites for DINSA, for instance, pointing error and system noise. Hey, so the DINSA technology, DINSA analysis is common for remote sensing yeah, service provider. So it is not 100% original yeah, technology, but yeah, we arrange some parameters to provide better yeah, service. So yeah, we have our own algorithm for the insert to provide run displacement monitoring service. And are you able to measure both? Yeah, yeah, we provide vertical and horizontal displacements, uh, we can convert to vertical and horizontal. And are there any challenges with uh, using some splits or DSS printing error and system loss? Yeah, for sure, there are some issues by using small satellites. Uh, at this today, I don't, I don't mention the details of hardware, yeah, problems. But by using small satellites, it is a little bit smaller. The, the data coverage is a little bit smaller than existing big satellites. That's that's because of yeah the size of satellite and the, because of the power, we, 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 we are developing small satellites. So the power the satellite can generate is limited. So that's one of main yeah, challenges for us, I think. Yeah. Are there any more questions that the attendees would like to ask? Uh, we still have three minutes, so can I show our sure. video? Thank you. So this is about our dam displacement service. And let's see.
Okay. Thank you for your attention. So it's time to finish my presentation. Thank you again for the opportunity to make this presentation today. Again, our CEO will be participating in the next panel yeah, after this, starting 2 p.m. in Singapore time. So please join and yeah, see what he says. <laughs> Yeah, Thank so you. I've also added the link uh, for the panel session at 2 p.m. in the chat box. Uh, so please also click on the link to attend and you can hear um, from Synspective CEO on his views on the urban environment panel. So thank you all for tuning in to the webinar today and for all your engaging questions. Thank you so much, Yuri, for also sharing with us Synspective's work. So we will be having uh, more webinars upcoming in the uh, next few days. So please check out our webinars by scanning the QR code that will be flashing on the screen shortly and join the conversation using the hashtag SGGOWIC. So thank you all for your attending today and hope that we see you and please stay safe. Thank you and bye-bye. Thank you. If you have any questions and interest, yeah, please feel free to contact us. Well, yeah, visit our website. You can, yeah. You can type anything in inquiry. Okay, thank you everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.